What has certainly been a hotly discussed topic over the last few months has been FaZe Clan and their strain away from what could have been the return of their sniping team, the return of trick shotting, which has been debated, I guess, over the last few years of even if it would work nowadays in 2024 versus a decade ago when FaZe Clan was popping off just for that. It's in a recent FaZe Swag podcast with FaZe Rug where they talk about kind of the downfall of trick shotting and sniping and why it really no longer works in today and age. And I, I thought it was very interesting. Here's what they had to say about it. And what do you guys think? I personally loved watching all the videos, you Facts. know, like, yeah. okay, the best times, I'm not gonna lie. Break it down. Bro, phase rain, double uploads. Dude. Cut wait, 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 he double upload cut con? Bro, he double, yes. not only that, he not only did he used to double upload on his main channel, but then he would have another channel where he'd upload on that too. So sometimes he would post three times a day. You'd get Three the adapt free for all cut comms. Bro. You'd get Blaze. <laughs> you'd get Apex. Road to a kill cam. Bro, bro when I That's tell you, ah, no, those days, like, I'm super blessed that we were able to live those days. Like, it just sucks that I don't think we'll ever get that time back. You know, like, it's just, it's not because, like, we can't do it. It's just that we all got older. Yeah, for sure. Know, we all got older and we all have our own responsibilities yeah. now. And, like, it just won't hit the same as when you're a kid. But I think that also makes it so special. Like, mm -hmm. you're where you are now, so it makes you appreciate it more. Old MW2 clips and, yep. and, like, this nostalgic music playing in the background. It gets me in my feels. I'm like, damn, like, we lived that time. Yeah. I was in it, and I'm super grateful for it. But like you said, it makes you cherish it even more now that it's not here. For sure. You know how they always say, um, why doesn't FaZe go back to its roots, go back to sniping? What is your thoughts on that? Because I, I in my head... Like, you just can't go back. Like, it was such, like, like we talked about. You just yeah. said it, it's a special time, um, and they want to go back to that point. What do you have to say to that? I, I agree with that. Like, so I do see a lot. Because, like, my Twitter, or X, sorry. <laughs> X, <Okay>. yeah. X, <laughs> um, I, uh, I started that, you know, back in the trick shotting days. So a lot of my timeline and the people I follow are still people from the old COD community. Yep. And I still sometimes see their tweets of them saying, like, phase isn't what it used to be. It needs to come back to trick shotting. It needs to come back to sniping. And, like, as much as we all can hope for that and want that to happen, like we said before, I just don't think it's as popping as it was before. You know, it's just, not. like, different times. You got to just, like, keep up with the new, new times, you for know? Sure. And it sucks because I would have loved to see that. And, like, shout out to all the trick shotters, all the snipers from the COD community, like... Just that we were talking about the old times like that. You guys lived that with us too, but I just don't know if FaZe were to go back to that, if that would just be a smart decision. Like, we just wouldn't get the views that... Or no, I don't want to say that. Sorry. No, <laughs> no, like, you're no yeah, it 100% makes sense. Like, it's just more so you want to stay relevant. You, exactly. Like, that's the name of the it's game. Longevity. It's, just, it's longevity, yeah. right? And, and it's something that we did, right? Yeah. Did at a high level, yeah. but exactly. also made a transition. Like, you made a transition. All the people in the New York house made a transition. Right. Yeah. And it took it to a different level. Yeah, yeah, because if you're like stuck doing that same thing, you're not gonna make it to that next level, you yep. know? Cause I took a big hit, you know, when I was just uploading gaming videos, I personally just wanted to start vlogging more. You know, I was like, bro, I love picking up the camera. I love showing off my family. I love doing day in the lives. Like I used to do a lot of day in the life videos and I would literally just pick up my camera, get in my car, go get in and out, <laughs> vlog my dog, <laughs> mm -hmm. my mom, my dad, my brother, and call it a video and yep. people love that because it was just so raw natural but i took a hit because all my fans were like gamers at the time and they're like what the hell is this so your views you're saying you were doing call duty trick shot videos you did day in the life and you saw views drop so or the, skyrocket the views skyrocketed Oof. but the feedback was bad uh, you know it was mm. the feedback from all my gaming fans saying yo like and i think i, I like the honesty because uh, unfortunately so, FaZe Clan has started to get rid of, of some of these trick shotting and sniping content creators. We also had other people out there, you know, recently talking about the return of FaZe sniping being a thing, and then it kind of fell through with the change of ownership and of course FaZe Clan going through a tumultuous last few months. It seems some things had to be kind of knocked off the list and uh, other things will continue to be knocked off the list because they got to pick and choose where they want to put their time, money, and effort. And it seems that trick shotting and sniping is definitely and has for a long time not really been that focused for FaZe Clan anymore. What once was a part of their big blow up, eventually, like Swag says, 
you kind of got to adapt. You got to transition into more of a modern audience because that's no longer, again, it can be unfortunate. That's just no longer what FaZe Clan represents, really. We want gaming videos. So what I did for a long time is I balanced gaming videos with IRL videos. Okay. So I would do like a gaming video vlog, gaming video vlog to just satisfy both the gaming side. And then it got to a point where I just wasn't having fun with the gaming videos. And I'm mm. like, you know what? Like it sucks. Like, I don't want to upset people, but then that's where I kind of learned that you can't please everyone. Yeah. You know, you can't, you can't do something that like pleases everyone in the world. I learned uh. that. Um, and I just did what I loved. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to vlog all the time yeah. and then just continue to level up. Just do what makes you happy, man. That's what yeah. you did. And that's what everyone should do, man. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. to a point where um, if it's not fun anymore, like why keep doing it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree. I think, um, yeah, if you're ever feeling like you're in a box, like definitely just try new things like try to feel out like take your time with it too i think that's the main thing like some people don't realize is like some people want to rush success but it doesn't work like that like some of the most successful people don't even become successful till age 30 40 talk 50 talk sometimes talk 60. Talk i'm, yeah, I'm being serious because like some people are like oh all these young kids are succeeding but maybe that's just not you yet. And even I feel like Rug felt bad. He was like, it wouldn't get the same views. And he was like, I'm sorry for saying that. But it's true. Like those kind of montages, that was back in the day when Call of Duty was actually good. And that content was what it was. It was great at the time. But I, I think we can all agree. Maybe, maybe you don't agree. Leave a comment down below. That's just not the hot content anymore. And I'm not here to tell you what the hot content is in esports and gaming because it has certainly changed a lot. And I would say it's a lot harder now than it was back then. It was still very difficult back then, but once you got known for something, you could really go viral for a pretty simple concept. Nowadays, you're fighting everybody out there making TikToks and YouTube shorts, and you can't just hit tricks and people believe that you're legit. And it doesn't get the same views either. That was a completely different period of time on YouTube. And I think YouTube is, uh, maybe I'm wrong on this. You got, I would love to know what you guys think because I have these little thoughts every now and again. I think YouTube has gotten has gone downhill, but you can defend it because it's still the best video platform by a long shot. For me though, on YouTube, if you don't get your content recommended, like nobody goes to their sub feed anymore. At least I don't. And if I don't see a video recommended to me, I'm not clicking on it. So if you're a creator and your videos aren't being recommended, good luck. I think it's all the harder nowadays to make it on YouTube than it was back then. It seemed a bit easier. And now YouTube is just full of these clickbait titles, which I know is ironic coming from me, but it's like the really broad clickbait titles of you'll never believe this, or he or she is the worst or the downfall of. And if you want to make a video saying, you know, phase swag and phase rug talk about so-and-so it's almost too niche to be recommended. Or if I make a video saying optic formal talks about halo pro Woodham, Nobody's searching for that stuff. You have to make it like ominous and broad and really clickbaity for anyone to even watch nowadays. It's just not the same when I started five or six years ago at, at Esports Talk, you know? And I know I'm rambling though. The point stands that FaZe Clan has to change. They have to go away from trick shotting and sniping and what it once was. And the even bigger question is what do they go into now that they won't be doing that? And who is going to be involved in the creator side? And what is Banks gonna do? I don't know. I've been talking way too long and I apologize for that, but uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you for subbing. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more videos. And we cover gaming news every single day here if you guys like that. Okay, um, bye.